welcome to this video about SMP surveys. During this video we're going to show you how to uh, create some of the advanced question types that are used or available in SMP. To do that we're going to work on our browser survey which we've been working on in other videos. So I'll start by opening that survey. I'll click on the edit survey button here. That'll open the browser survey and here you can see the questions that we've already set up. What we're going to be doing is setting up our first question which will be the visual scale board and what that's going to do is help us to map attitudes towards the various browsers in this case how easy it is to use so the first thing I do is create a new question by clicking on the plus button here I select visual scale there's, there's the beginning of my visual scale board now what I need to do is start entering the details over here in the parameters section. The first thing I want to do is enter the question text. So what I'm going to do is cut and paste that from my word questionnaire. So I open the question text, rich text editor, pull up my word document, cut the question out of that particular section. Hit control C a copy, minimize it, go back to my rich text editor, remembering that I can't just cut and paste into the design mode, I have to go to HTML mode and hit control V, there's my question entered, I go back to the design mode to format it and I want to add an, a line here and I'm happy with that now I've got my question in, I need to add some answers that need to be dragged onto the visual scale board. I'll get them from the image library. I'm going to have browsers, and the browsers I want are the common ones, Opera, Safari, Chrome, Internet Explorer, Netscape and Firefox. I say OK, close that the image editor. You can see I now need to reformat these images, so I click the answer parameters button, click the resizing square here, I'll move that to the center so you can see it resize those images there. I'll resize the label because I will turn the label on. Go over here, show image description. There you can see that my labels are in. Now I need to add the scale and the scale goes from easy to use down to not so easy to use and I do that by adding the flags. My flags are over here. The right flag is going to be easy to use so I click on that, up comes a rich text editor, I type in easy to use, I want to format it a bit, I'll center it, make it bold, make it dark blue, and make it slightly bigger, say medium size, and you can see it appears here, now I need to put the left flag in, and the left flag is going to say not so easy to use. I want to format it the same way, center, dark blue, medium size, there you can appear, not so easy to use there now, this enables me now to drag each of my logos onto the visual scale board and place them where I think they rate in terms of ease and difficult of use. I'll show you how that questionnaire runs in real time when we test the survey. Let's set up another question now. This one's called Tachistoscope. What it does is it enables us to determine which of the logos pokes out the most, which bounces. This is good for pack design and determining which pack designs will lift off the shelf the best or which logos will stick out on computer screens, those sorts of things. So I click on Simple Tachistoscope here up comes the question and now I've got to start building it. I go back to my question text, I open my Word document, scroll down to that particular question, question 6, I highlight that question, scroll C, copy, I go back to my rich text editor, hit the HTML, highlight that, I control V, now I go back to the design and I need to change the designs a bit. So here where it says Chrome image, I need to actually put the Chrome image. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. Put an extra line there. So I 
delete this Chrome image here. Now I've got to get the Chrome image from the image library. Click on the library button. Go back, go to the library. Click browsers. Select the browser. This time Chrome. Tick the yellow box and in comes the Chrome logo into my question text. I'll say OK. And so there's my question now formatted with the logo there. Now that's the logo that I'm asking people to find. What this is going to do is set up a game for the contestant or the respondents to play. We can test how well this particular logo pokes out. So now I've got to build a block of nine logos. It can be 16 or 10, doesn't matter, with that logo in it somewhere the respondents have to click on. You'll get the idea once we actually do the question. So I click on the image library, go to browsers. I want to click nine of them. I'll get the most popular ones again. Say OK. So I brought them all in. Now I need to format this up to make sure they're square and the right size. I don't want any labels this time. And I want to put them into three columns. And I want this particular game to play four times. And now I'll show you how this particular question works. So the, so the respondent is asked, so click on the stopwatch to begin. They click on the stopwatch up comes all the items the first time in there right and their job is to find the logo that was highlighted up here they click on it once they click on it the items are randomly redispersed again they've got to find that item again click on it as fast as they can they're randomly dispersed again find the logo again and again what you find is when you analyze this question that the fastest times recorded for the various target images that you're measuring are the ones that poke out the most, that have the most standout effect when on shelf. Okay, so the next question we're going to set up is one we call card sort, and it's a simple and better way of doing grids than actually using grids. So we'll start by clicking the plus button again, and we'll select the card sort option. So let's build this question and then you'll get a good idea of how it works once it's built and why it's better than a grid. Let's pull up our word questionnaire again. This is the question here. Please rate each of the following browsers on how much you agree or disagree with each of the following statements. The first one is a fun browser to use. So that's the question is, please rate each of the following browsers. I'll grab that, control C. I put that in the question text, remembering to press the HTML button. Control V, reach the design, there's my question. So the first thing I'm going to do is put the answer boxes in, which string along the top here. Now these answer boxes are where the cards are placed in response to that question. It'll become clearer once we've actually built the question. So to build each answer box, I have a rich text box here. And the first one I'm going to put in there. So the first answer box is going to be strongly agree. I type in the answer strongly agree, close the rich text box, and you can see the answer has popped up there. Now I need to put the next answer in. That answer is going to be somewhat agree. I want to do the same formatting again. Dark blue, medium, bolded, close. So I add the third box, which is going to be neither agree nor disagree. Again, I format those, bold, dark blue, trebuchet, small. And I continue along that same vein for the next two boxes. Okay, so now I've got all my uh, answer boxes in. I just need to format the size. I want to make them slightly bigger than that. In fact, I want them to be the same size as the actual stimuli boxes, but I'll uh, show you how to do that in a minute. 
So now I want to do is create the cards. Now the cards are the items that are going to be dragged and placed in one of these boxes up here, depending how they feel about this particular item. I get from the image library, and I'll just do the popular ones again. I need to format those. I want to include the description, so I need to make that a little bit bigger. Now please rate each of the following browsers based on how much you agree or disagree with each of the following statements. The first statement we want to put in there is a fun browser to use, so that's part of the question text. If I go here again, is a fun browser to use. I'll just make that a little bit more obvious by making it bold, make it dark blue, and medium size. Right, so now what they're asked to do is click on each of these boxes and drag them according to how much they think this browse, these browsers are a fun to use. Now you can ask this question in a grid also, but this is a much more interactive and more satisfying way to ask this particular question. This is called card sort. That's all we're going to be covering in this uh, particular video, but uh, if I click on the green button here, I'll just take you through all the other question types that are available. There's obviously the basic one, single, multi-select, scored, ranking, text answers. Then there's a multiplicity of different types of grids. Uh, double-sided grids, complex grids, a grid called Ratement, sliders, card sort we've seen, visual scale, multi-select shop, tachistoscope evoke set, video show information questions that just help you present material. You can have a slideshow and information magazines. So there's quite an extensive range of question types there that can also be formatted in a multiplicity of ways to create many other different types of question types. Thanks for viewing this video. Bye for now.